Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to do a little uh, product demonstration for you here. We're talking about the Sparky. I've been playing with this uh, for a couple weeks since I got my uh, Going Gear order. And that's where I got this from, GoingGear.com. And they charge $14.95 for these. They come in uh, tan and black, as you see here, or they do have an international orange and black, which is, uh, you know, high visibility in case you drop it in the woods or something, which is also another idea, you know, good idea to have. Uh, but I just happen to prefer the tan one. But um, it's a really cool little uh, fire starter here. It's really, really easy to use. It's very compact, as you can see. And it's just, it's very unique. It's like something I've never seen before. It's basically a one-handed uh, fire striker. Um, you squeeze this together and let go. And this little uh, stem kind of pops out. And that's where you have your, um, your ferrocium rod. Okay, it's uh, attached to this plastic insert. And it rides on a spring, so there's spring tension in here. Okay, and you can see it's basically two, two pieces of plastic and the color portion of it is actually a rubber sleeve. Now when I push it together you can kind of see that. It's basically just a rubber sleeve that goes over the whole unit. And how this works is your striker is on this side of the plastic and when you push down and keep tension on it, as you push push down it's going to spark. Okay, as you can see. Now the harder you push, the harder the spark is going to be or the, you know, the more spark you're going to get. The one thing I had um, problem with when I first got this, it's not really a problem, but a concern, I should say, is that um, it seemed a little bit flimsy. Uh, it is plastic, you know, it's a little bit loose in here. I was wondering, you know, how much abuse can I actually take before it would break. And so far, so good. It's been fine. It hasn't gotten any more loose or any less loose than it, it was when it came. Um, I used it a couple dozen times already, started a couple little fires. Um, all novelty reasons, you know, I didn't go camping or anything with it, but uh, you know, I have been testing it out, and so far, so good. But then I realized, you know, even if this thing did break, if it snapped off, you can just basically pull this apart and you still have the striker and you still have the ferrocium rod to actually use manually. But the big advantage with this is not only is it very compact, but it's also, you're able to use it with one hand. Okay? That is the biggest, most beneficial part of this piece of gear, is that you can use it one-handed. Um, if you're used to a regular, you know, um, striker with a ferrocium rod, you obviously know you have to use two hands. Now, a big concern people have sometimes when they're going off into the woods and adventuring is, you know, what if you get hurt? What if you only have one hand to use? How are you going to make a fire? So, I think this is a really, really good piece of kit to have in addition to something else. I mean, let's say your favorite, uh, you know, way to start a fire is, um, you know, I don't know, just a, a blast match or something. You know, just for example. It's a really good thing to have in your bag, and just in case you do get injured, now you have the, uh, you know, the, the, a way of making fire just with one hand. It's very simple to do. So I'm just going to show you how this works, and we're going to demonstrate with some wet fire. This stuff is really, really good. I, since I got this, I've been using it like crazy. It's really easy to use. They come in these individual wrap packages, and I'll do a, a total separate video just on this stuff, but it's really, really good. Uh, it's kind of soft, so you can kind of crumble it. It almost feels like a really dense foam. Let's just put a little here. We'll save some of that. And get out of here, Ant. You don't want to get caught on fire, do you? All right. So we have a little bit of wet fire. Of course, you don't have to just use wet fire. You can have any any dry tinder. Squeeze it, pop it open. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on here and push down. And there you go. How easy was that? And completely one-handed. Just really, really, really effective. Very, very fast. The combination of the wet fire and the sparky, it's a sure thing every time. And I think it's just a really, really great product. So uh, if you're interested in these, you can find these again at goinggear.com. I'm sure they're all over the internet, but this is where I happen to get mine. Uh, and they're charging $14.95, which I think is reasonable. Uh, the only other thing I want to say about it is that um, the ferrocium rod, it's not huge. But it's like as far as the diameter, because I'm trying to think of how long this is really going to last. But I have to say, you can you can easily start probably a thousand fires with this before you'd have an issue with your um, your rod kind of deteriorating or you know not having any left. But so far so good. You see how easy it is to use. I think it's a really great product, the Sparky. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and uh, look forward to. Well, I guess I don't have to do a specific video on the wet fire because you already see how it works. But I might do it and talking a little bit about how how it actually works. I'm not sure if they even give you the, uh, no, they don't, what it's comprised of. I guess it's kind of a trade secret. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might do another video on it. I might not. But anyway, it stuff works great. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day.